what are some of the thoughts and emotions you're feeling today? I cannot believe that we're finally here today. Like, it has been so long coming, and I just love this man so much. And I feel very, very blessed to have him in my life and to be able to do this. I never really dreamed of a wedding before meeting him, but ever since being with him for the last 10 years, we've talked about having a tropical destination wedding um, with only our closest friends and family. And seeing everyone here last night at the windmill bar, it was just surreal. And Nick and I looked at each other and we're like, this is happening and it's, it's crazy. I, I don't think I've ever been happier in my entire life and I'm just so excited for, for today, for tonight and for the rest of my life with Nick. Never in my wildest dreams did I think we would be standing here on this pier, the most beautiful place in the world, with our closest family and friends watching us get married. What started as a first date almost 10 years ago and a buy one get one coupon at the local Dairy Queen, I think it's safe to say it was love at first sight, at least for me. The last 10 years have been quite the journey, a journey filled with ups and downs, good moments and bad, but that's life and you've been by my side every step of the way. Growing up, Nick was adamant that he was never getting married. He had these big dreams he wanted to fulfill of living in a small town where he would be able to hunt, fish, and do whatever he wanted, which pretty much meant not getting married. Fast forward to junior year of high school, he got wind of a new girl in town from the dirty south who happened to be tall, blonde, very pretty, outgoing, smart, and played on the volleyball team. The rest was history. We were kids in love. crazy that two 17-year-old kids could be so confident in something. I would say I can't believe that we're standing here today, but that wouldn't be true. In September of that year, I wrote, I truly believe that me and you have much more than a teenage love. I always knew we'd be standing here today, and so did you. Well, honey, in the wise words of Eileen Shania Twain, it looks like we made it. <laughs> Look how far we've come, my baby. You're still the one I love. Nicholas Bradley Dorish, you've always been the one. I will never forget the moment I saw your Facebook profile picture in November of 2012. It's as though my future all of a sudden made sense. Immediately, you stole my heart when you suggested Dairy Queen so we can use your buy one, get one coupon. Ice cream, check. Financially smart, check. I was sold. I'm with you always. You've had me all along. We've gone a long way. Now take it home. Take it home. 
gathered here to witness and celebrate the marriage of these two absolute beauties. Steph and Nick have spent years knowing each other and growing together, and we now bear witness to what their relationship has become. Today, they will affirm this bond formically, publicly, and soaking wet. It's okay. stand here and tell you with all the confidence in the world that you are the best thing that has ever happened to me. You're beautiful, kind, funny, and genuine. The list goes on and on, and they are all amazing qualities that make you the special woman that you are. <laughs> you are beautiful. I love you. I'm so proud of you. I love you. You too. You look gorgeous. Thanks. Love you. Love you too. Oh my god. Oh my god, babe, you look so pretty. Thanks, honey. You look so gorgeous. Thank you. You like it? I love it. Oh my gosh, that is so you. <laughs> you look so good. Wow. I vow to love you unconditionally. I vow to always kiss you goodnight and tell you I love you. I vow to be your best friend and to better myself each day in attempt to be the full woman that you deserve. I love you, Nicholas Bradley Dorish. And I vow to love you more and more every single day for the rest of my life. You will always be the one I love. This week has already been so amazing. Um, it's, it's really made me wish that dad was here to see you. I know how proud he is of you and both of you. He'd be so pumped to be sitting right here right now, cheersing us and having a beer with us. And he's, he's watching over you today and every day. I know why I'm here. I never lose sight for one second why I'm here. I know Tom is here and has been here. And I know he is so incredibly proud of both of you, the people that you are, and the fact that you're finally getting married. <laughs> the past couple weeks, Nick and I have spent a lot of time um, writing letters to everyone in our family. And this morning, they all woke up to those letters and read them. And it felt wrong to not write one to my dad. And so I would like to read that letter so he can hear it, if y'all are okay with that. <laughs> well, Dad, here we are. One of the happiest days of my life. You and I never really talked about our wedding day. We didn't quite get that far. Dad, I danced with my husband till you're still the one. Just like we always talked about. My people are all here, Dad. Something so special to me is how much Nick loved you and how much he still looks up to you to this day. You're a true role model for how we operate our relationship and how we dream of our marriage. And I know you've always loved Nick, Dad. Well, I married him today, Dad, and I've never been so proud in my entire life. And Dad, let's just say, man, I feel like a woman. The luckiest woman alive, that is.
I vow to be your forever travel companion and to never stop exploring the world with you. I promise to treat you like my queen and to spend every day expressing my love to you for the rest of our lives. And I promise to love you with all of my heart, to protect you, to care for you until the day that I die. Cheers to the best day and to a lifetime of love and laughter. I love you, Billy.